circling high above American Airlines Arena on this beautiful night, giving you a terrific view of our location here in Miami. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Heat, Jones is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then it's Robinson. And it's Nunn in at the point guard. Well, you've got to recognize how active Middleton is on defense. I mean, this is a guy that you can't afford to be careless around. Giannis against Butler. And the rejection by Giannis. And that one hits back iron. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. None against Bloodsoe. None kicks to Butler. Just five to shoot. Over Giannis. Butler gets it to go. Excellent use of the screen and roll. Butler knowing precisely what to do in that situation. I'm really impressed by how smart he is. Bloodsoe outside. Pass to Matthews. Fires from deep. Robinson pulls it in. And it's Butler with Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. And Giannis gets it to go. And Clark Chews were hand-me-downs from his teammates. Greg, nothing like not having enough to drive you to get more. I mean, clearly, you think about Giannis and his background and where he is now. He and Thanasis oftentimes would take turns playing in the game, swapping the same pair of shoes. Those days are long behind both of them. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Low numbers for George Hill. Bart, you know him well from your days in Indiana. Certainly do and have great admiration and respect for George. He's a business-like pro. He's the epitome of what it is to be a pro. Consistent work ethic, understands himself, always looking to improve, knows his role, and has always had a calming and stabilizing influence for every team that he's played on. And here's Crowder. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And the shot's good from Crowder. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. If you ask Miami coach Eric Spolstra, there's been a long lineage of undrafted players who've made an impact with the Heat. Going back, think about big guys like Udonis Haslam, Joel Anthony, and Hassan Whiteside. Now you have youngsters like Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson. Tune swap here for Milwaukee. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Adetokounmpo kicks to Matthews. Pass to Middleton from outside the arc. Here's Antetokounmpo. A beautiful reverse layup. Giannis has got Antetokounmpo off the glass. That's a tough assignment because he's long and he can leap. None passes to Robinson. He dishes it to Butler. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Butler's muscle car might be more accurate. The dish to Middleton. And a great assist by Plunso as that one goes in. Now it's a five-point Bucks lead. Outside Robinson. Three-pointer. Butler. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got five rebounds tonight. 
Chris Middleton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw shot. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Middleton really is an amazing shooter. Absolutely amazing, especially from long distance. Passes it to none. 106 left to play in the first half. Back to Igudala. Over Ilias Hova. They get the rebound. Olinick. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And Olinick up and down at the free throw line early in his career. But with his touch, he's bound to become more consistent. And that one falls for Olinick. And so Olenek nails both of them. Make sure to find the others. And Middleton kicks to Bledsoe. And he banks in the layup. Bledsoe's got nine. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. None passes to Robinson. Dishes it to Butler. That one good for two. I mean, the mid. Ante de Kumbo looking over the floor. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Get up. Here's Bledsoe, and a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And the slam dunk by Anadokounmpo. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Back to none. Tipped away. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Goes up. And he caps off. They need one. Hill deciding where to go with it. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. Shoots over Crowder. And it's Giannis missing. The Heat trail by 19. Right side, Butler. Bristle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. You know, that's blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment, but sure. the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. And even three-on-three -three break. Here's Dragic. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Dragic, final quarter of play. None against Bledsoe. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lopez. Here's Matthews, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point team. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's none, and the rejection by Anadokounmpo. To end the run, and the layup good by none. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there, no box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Trying to get open is Lopez, and Bledsoe with the stuff. When Bledsoe is Fox with possession, they're on an 11-2 run. Trying to get open is Lopez. Shots good by Middleton. Oh, I love the concentration and focus of Middleton. Knock him around, get physical with him, doesn't bother him at all. He stays calm and in control. Here's Hero. Back to none. And it's good from the elbow. 
None. In the age of analytics, there's a ton of talk about player efficiency these days. And as we can see by Antetokounmpo's performance tonight, his efficiency, extraordinary. Here's none trying to get up in his out of bio. None. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Giannis against Jones. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. And the Bucks, their shooting has been brilliant in this game. 67% from the floor. Back to Middleton. Reverses. And the layup is good. And it's the other way now. And Middleton kicks to Corver. Back to Middleton. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Hill. And so here is Miami. Down low, Crowder. Free throw, good, Crowder. And both free throws, good from Crowder. Now here is Hill. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David.